Hi people, this is Digvijay from 4D Tech Cafe. I had realized this earlier that many students like me who are suffering from uh, low vision disorders had this issue where we are not able to see what exactly is going on on the board or on the projector screens during the lecture and we completely relied on our listening. So what we have done here is we have designed a basic setup which basically zooms onto the content of the board or on the screen during the lectures. So stay tuned to see how exactly to build the setup. So to start with we require an android phone with a decent camera and as you all know most phones come with a good camera setup so that should not be an issue. We need a stand and a usb cable and a laptop running mac windows or linux. I am using an app called as SCR CPY here which allows me to control my phone from my laptop itself as you can see. So here in my phone I have installed an app called as supervision you can also use vzoom. I will give the Google Play Store link of both the apps in the description below. So this is basically a magnifying app which have more digital zoom as compared to your normal camera. And as you can see I am zooming onto a board in my workplace which have things scribbled that may not make sense here but the main point is that you can actually see the things that are scribbled on the board. And uh, the app also allows you to change the color like change into black and white or any other color personally black and white I have used sometimes but other colors are I don't think much useful you can also change contrast and sometimes you can also use flash if needed so the SCR CPY tool is available for all major operating systems for windows just download the zip file from the description and extract the zip file in the location of your choice So the zip file contains the SCR CPY run file and all other dependency file also and uh, we are going to basically make the link of this folder global so that SCR CPY can search for its other dependencies. As you see SCR CPY run file and other dependencies are present here. Just copy the link and go to this PC right click and select properties. Now meanwhile I will just show you that my PC is not a very high end one. It's basically a 2GB 32GB Windows 10 32 bit system. So at the left side we have this advanced system settings option. Now at the right bottom most corner of this dialog box there is this environment variable options here. There are two sections. In the system variable section just double click on the path option and at the bottom just double click in the blank space, right click and paste the location of SCR CPY. Click on OK, click OK again, again OK and close this property section. So next step is set up the phone. Just go to settings and about phone. Tap 7 times on the build number. This will enable the developer options. So in your settings there will be these developer options. In developer options go to USB debugging and enable it and click on OK when there is a warning. Now just connect your phone to the PC using USB. Just click OK when the warning prompts and go to the folder where the SCR CPY is present and double click on SCR CPY. So your phone screen is mirrored and this time I have used a different phone just to show that you can basically use any Android phone. And as showed earlier, you can use Supervision or VZoom or any other camera app. So SCR CPY is also available for Linux. And to make things easier, we have made a installation script for Ubuntu and it's tested and runs well on Ubuntu 16.04. It basically installs all the dependencies and SCR CPY itself. So just download it from the description below and keep it in a suitable location right click on the directory select open in terminal and uh, just type the command bash and scscpy underscore install underscore 4d underscore 2.sh which is the name of the file just key on your password so i've installed all the dependency in the app itself so it's not taking that much time otherwise it usually takes a decent amount of time 
and uh, yeah so once installed just open a new terminal and just type SCR CPY after connecting your phone make sure the developer mode is on and as you can see the phone connects so installation in Mac is relatively simpler just open a terminal and type brew homebrew cask and press enter now type brew cask install android platform tools basically SCR CPY runs on ADB base so it requires those Android platform and just type brew install SCR CPY this will take a pretty long time because it installs all the dependency I will just skip this step and once installed open a new terminal and type SCR CPY and yeah the phone connects so I was recording from the same phone which I have connected and yeah you can have some fun like that there you have some weird patterns so like SCR CPY you can use any other app I prefer SCR CPY because it's smaller and can run on multiple platforms but majorly because it actually has some really cool keyboard shortcuts like Ctrl H for going to home or Ctrl B for going back and even in supervision you have this up down arrow key for zooming a zoom out so those things really help the second on my priority is Visor which is a Google Chrome add-on the issue is that it has some blurring problems and it is really irritating during the lectures and also the full screen mode is paid so either you can stretch the window to almost the length of the screen or buy an annual subscription which I guess is $10 which is not that high and some people may like it so I will just put the link in the description below and I hope this video was informative and helpful to people like me thank you and always remember that life is not about compromising it's more about optimizing